Leveling up. Extreme business growth through raising your game. When what was once extraordinary becomes ordinary, you know you've leveled up. One last delve into my little book, 67 Kick-Ass Philosophies for Small Business Owners. Today, I'm on page 136, and today's philosophy is step up like you fucking mean it. Welcome to the Level Up Podcast with me, George Swift. The Level Up Podcast is here to give you the personal development, the entrepreneurial development, and the business growth that you, the ambitious business owner, desires. I'm here to give you the inspiration, the motivation, but above all else, to challenge your aspirations, to take you and your business to the next level. Don't forget, subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode. This week, all week in fact, I've been taking excerpts from my book, 67 kick Cast Philosophies. There's a link in the description of this episode if you want to go and buy that book, either on Amazon, on Kindle, or you can get the paperback book from our website. You'll see those links in the descriptions of this episode. Today, I'm going to read from this meme, this philosophy, step up like you fucking mean it. Our soft and safe lifestyles have made it okay to be half assed about our results. In the animal kingdom, nothing less than 100% will do. Basic survival comes easily in our civilised world, and because of this, many of us have lost our fight. We're allowed to be passive and half assed in life. If we'd approach life like this in any other time in our history, let alone way back in evolutionary timescales, we simply wouldn't have survived. The that'll do mentality in today's society is robbing us of our potential. We have unprecedented opportunity now because we're starting from a solid place of comfort. For most of us, roofs are over our heads, food is in the fridge, and if it ever runs out, pizza is just 30 minutes away at the end of a phone. Our ancestors wouldn't be able to conceive just how easy we have it. Yet, we take it for granted and sit on our asses watching TV, on the PlayStation, or wasting our lives down the pub. We've lost our hunger, we've lost our fight. Step up to life like you mean it and embrace the opportunity you've been blessed with. Well, I'll give you that, I'll tell you now, the pubs have only just opened up here in the UK and therefore I'll forgive you for wanting to go down and uh, crave some human contact and hang out in a beer garden. So I'm going to forgive you that one if I bring this up to uh, up to date. But you get the gist, right? Way too many people, you know, myself included, by the way, I have to really you know, keep an eye on myself as well. It's too easy to end up sat in front of TV, sat in front of Netflix, you know, ordering up pizza from Deliveroo or some other shit like that, you know, binging on box sets. It's too easy to just waste your life away. And the reason is because actually, even though I I don't know your life and I know you'll have your own struggles, I have my own struggles. The truth is we don't have to fight very hard anymore. You know, if you're willing to go out and work, if you're willing to set up your business and just do a, a modicum of hard effort, you know, you'll put a roof over your head and you'll have a fridge in the food, as I said. But there's so much more in life than that. You know, back in our ancestral days, back in our evolutionary timescales, you know, they had to work so hard just to get enough food to, to get them by for the next 24 hours. They had to work so hard to keep themselves safe. They had to work so hard for their shelter. And the truth is, for most of us here, especially in the Western world, it does come relatively easy. And therefore, it could be considered a really good platform, a really solid foundation in order to launch ourselves so that we can go and create incredible things in our life with the effort and the energy that we have left over that our ancestors didn't. But for most of us, we just squander it away. We waste it away. And again, like always, I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch some TV. I do myself. What I'm really saying is this, be aware of the sacrifice you're making. All week, I've been talking about certain themes, and that's why I've chosen these particular philosophies out of my book. And they are around fight and around discipline and around doing what we need to do today to create the future of tomorrow. And I've talked about, you know, shoving pizza in when we probably should be eating more healthily. I've talked about how we don't apply ourselves, you know, really fully to life and therefore we can never really get the rewards that are on offer to us and I thought this one was a good one to finish the week out on and it's really a call to action which is step up step up to your business like you mean it stop being half-assed and I know it can come across incredibly insulting 
But the message is not that you're being lazy. It's not that you're being half assed It's just that through our evolutionary systems and processes, the what I call mindset mechanics that the unconscious runs on, due to society and due to how society is set up and big brand marketing and everything else, because of that, it makes it so hard for us to truly tap into that fight, to truly tap into all we are. And therefore, for most of us, we never come close to truly realizing our own potential and never really creating the life we could, the business we could, and never really having the impact in life that we could have done had we just gone a little bit harder, dug a little bit deeper, if we'd said no to some of the superficialities of life today, like TV, like the pizza, and actually really committed ourselves to life and committed ourselves to our businesses, we could create incredible things in our life. So once again, this isn't prescriptive. This isn't me telling you that you're a bad person. This isn't telling me you shouldn't indulge. This isn't me telling you anything about how you should live your life. But I am here, I do consider one of my roles is just to reflect yourself to yourself and reflect life to you and to show you that the world we're living in creates a really weird, false normal, a really false reality of what life is like. And therefore, for most of us, it actually does hold us back from having the achievement in life, but also the experience of life that we otherwise could. The message today, step up to your life, step up to your business, step up to anything that's important, step up to yourself, your goals, your vision, what's important to you in this world, in your life, step up to that like you fucking mean it, bring your A game, bring yourself, fight the external influences that would have you sit on your ass watching TV, eating pizza from Deliveroo, fight yourself, those impulses inside yourself that says, you know what, my life's quite easy, I'm doing all right, I'm quite happy, let me just shove some pizza in and watch a bit more TV. Instead of that, step up like you fucking mean it, go out there, take life by the balls, go and really make life work for you, go and set some audacious goals, Think about what it is that you want to create in your life, what you want to do in the world in the time that you've been given to do it. Enjoy your weekend doing whatever it is you're doing. Don't feel guilty if you do actively choose to sit in front of the TV with a delivery at the door. That's fine. All I'm really sharing with people is, you know, we get caught up in these habits, these patterns. We don't often really question what we're doing and therefore we sometimes miss a massive opportunity. Once we start to deliberately choose our actions for ourselves, we start to really genuinely weigh up things for ourselves, then there is no wrong decision. You don't have to go out there and create a world empire. You don't have to lose weight, be slim. You don't have to do anything. Just be aware of the price you're paying for the comfort that you have. Be aware of what's on offer if you would dare to put yourself into an uncomfortable position make your own decisions choose life on your terms choose what you achieve in life on your terms if you do then there'll be no regrets have an awesome weekend if you want to go and check out what we're doing at success groups please do biggerbrighterbolder.co.uk if you want to speak to a real human being then drop my partner in life and in business tracy miller a call you can contact her at tracy with an e dot miller at biggerbrighterbolder.co.uk she'd love to have a call with you and discuss us how we might be able to take you to the next level. Whether you are launching your business right from the get-go, whether you're taking your business 20, 30, 40, 50k and building it to 100k plus, or you've already broken 100k and you want to scale that business, then please do check us out, drop us a line, and let's introduce you to the roomfuls of ambitious entrepreneurs that we currently have doing exactly those things. We have over 80 members right now from startup through to multiple million pound turnover businesses we will put you in a group of people like-minded to yourself that complement what it is that you're doing at the same level as what you're doing because nothing beats being our own individual journeys but doing it in a team environment go and check us out biggerbrightbolder.co.uk i'll drop the links in the descriptions below as well as some links to other resources to help you on your way including the link to the 67 kickoff philosophies you can get it on kindle at amazon or you can purchase the book directly from my website and get the pocket sized version paperback that I'm reading from today. I will see you next time. Have an awesome one. Until then, as always, be successful. Leveling up extreme business growth through raising your game. When what was once extraordinary becomes ordinary, you know you've leveled up. 